Castile, Spain, 19th century. Somewhere between Burgos and Segovia, Maria is late to her next destination, and the sun is going down. Well, here I am, fulfilling my dream on a lousy road. The next village seems to be pretty far away. And the night is coming. Therefore, I need a shelter for tonight. Hey, perhaps that old lady knows a place where I could stay. Hi, good evening. Hi, little girl. Where are you going so late? I'm heading out to investigate the legends of Castile so I can become a nun. Oh, you wouldn't believe why. You want to become a nun? But you are way too young, little girl. Why would someone like you have such a dream? Well, a few days ago, I was walking out with my friends and having fun. When I had an urge to go to the toilet, I walked out of the wine cellar. And I had a vision of the Virgin Mary. I saw the light. Are you sure that's what you saw? Uh, what else could that have been? After that, I went to the convent at Burgos. And I met my future mother superior, who told me that if I want to become a nun, I'll have to investigate the magic creatures that have been appearing all around Castile, and bring her proof of their existence. It's a rather strange quest, but I'm determined to do it so I can fulfill my dream. Okay. But be careful through the paths, little girl. There are legends you wouldn't like to face. What is your name, little girl, if you don't mind? My name is Maria de Salazar, and I'm from Aranda de Duero, a, a town in the province of Burgos. De Salazar. That's interesting, little girl. I think I've heard that somewhere before. I, I don't know. I highly doubt it. My family is very humble. The sun is going down. Could you please tell me if the next village is far away? My little girl, the next village is a hundred miles away. You would do better to seek shelter for tonight. Could you please tell me where I could stay overnight? Hmm. Yes, child. That house behind you would be perfect for you. Oh! I didn't know if it'd be safe to get closer to the house. Thank you. Yes, it would. But please be careful with the surroundings. What's dangerous in these surroundings, apart from the wolves at night? Some people tell of a legend that there was an Ojoranco in this area many years ago. Ojoranco? What's that? Sounds like something I'm not going to like. An Ojoranco is a kind of cyclops that some folks say inhabits Segovia's woods. Oh, well, that's interesting. Do you know what I can do if I face that creature? They say the only way to escape him is to attack his weak point. His only eye. Um, thank you, but I hope I don't need that tip. A monster? 
A cyclops? I don't believe it, madam. That's superstitious nonsense. Incredulous girl. If you don't believe me, look at the symbol in that road sign. About this signpost, I don't recognize this strange sign. We'll meet again soon enough. <laughs> Oh, heck. Where did she go? Here we go with the strange things. I'd better look for shelter before the wolves come out. I need to knock on the door for someone to open it. Hi! Is there anyone home? Hello? Is there anyone up there? that the stone broke the window. Oh, how clumsy I am. Hey! It seems there is now someone downstairs. I'm sure they will hear me now. Hi! Is there anyone home? there good evening sir are you the vandal who broke my window with a stone yes sir it wasn't on purpose i'm so sorry but it's a life or death situation i need to stay in your shack shack get out of here punk
sir, you were very rude to close the door in my face like that. Girl, you're getting on my nerves. Goodbye. You again, girl. I'll give you one more chance to show me some respect. But this is the last time. I promise that if you host me, I'll do the laundry tomorrow. I'm sure you don't like my shack. Goodbye. You again, girl, but this... Have I already told you that I love your house? Hmm. That's better. Who are you and what do you want? I'm a pre-novice. I'm not from here, and I need a place to spend the night. This is no place for God-fearing people. You'd better leave. Let me stay at your house, please. I promise I won't bother you. And what do I get out of this? I'll help you with any tasks you need. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe you could help me share my sheep. And I'll bring you breakfast in the morning, too. Hmm. Okay. I'll host you. Follow me. The next morning, after eight hours of sleep, Just a couple more minutes, Bo. Huh. Get your dirty hands off me, you scoundrel! Okay, okay, I'm up. I could have slept all day. Well, let's see what tasks I have promised to do for the owner, and then do them quickly, so I can continue on my way. Hmm. Oh, now I remember. I promised to bring him breakfast and help him shear his sheep. So, I will need some breakfast, an instrument for shearing, a container for the wool. Let's get to work.
are scattered around the house again. And have they changed? Oh my god. How am I going to make the recipe now? Hello, little monster. What are you supposed to be? They call us little enemies. Who sent you? Where did you come from? The story begins in Burroughs. There was a cold winter night when a married couple. Oh, there he 
goes again. That's what I get for asking his story. The husband was about to go to bed, but his wife went first. While well, he stayed by the fireplace for a moment. That happened to my cousin, too. Later, it turned out that her husband was writing letters to other girls. The husband noticed that there was a pot on the fireplace. And, out of curiosity, he opened it. Then the man began to feel a stinging in his legs. Of some invisible enemies. And that was you three, right? That's right, human. And that's how the story ends? It's a bit bland, isn't it? Of course the story ends like that. <laughs> Damn human. Did you expect a happy ending? I don't believe you. Let's talk about something else. Very interesting, but I have more questions. Hey, what have you done with the ingredients? We have improved them. In the Guild of Enemies, we think that the original recipe is too simple. I'm sure this will help you learn the recipe. We did it for your own good. <laughs> Damn little enemies. What did you say, human? Uh, nothing. I wonder if you are not a product of my imagination. If you want, I'll bite you so we can check. Mm, no, better not. It's just that I haven't eaten since yesterday, and maybe I'm having visions. This can't be true. If you keep talking nonsense, I might bite you anyway. Don't tell me. You are the smart one. You have some intuition for a small town girl without an ounce of magic. I have to go. The recipe is waiting for me. Good luck. You're gonna need it. My name is Maria, and who are you? Well, little enemies. And what is that? <laughs> we are your worst nightmare. It's pronounced worst. Little human, don't get smart or you'll regret it. You'll never finish the improved recipe. Calm down, calm down, pretty little enemy. Who sent you? Where did you come from? Your mistress locked us in this tiny jar of paprika. Your mistress? Who has such a thing? Our mistress is a witch, the most powerful in all of Castile. What? A witch? Do witches also exist? Well, I thought they were only in children's stories. <laughs> if witches and magic don't exist, what are we doing here? Hmm. That makes sense. Oops, I said too much. Forget I said that. Very interesting. Have you seen any Oharankanos in the area? Oharanko? But don't worry. He will find you. I don't believe they exist, actually. Little human looks confident. The graveyards are full of confident people. I'm not afraid. You are the fool of the three, aren't you? Ah, you shut up! I'll bite you in places you don't even know the name of. Oops, I take it back, I take it back. You were so smart. That's better, little human. Actually, I'm very bad at cooking. Now, mistress gave us the day off. So you start cooking, and we will laugh. <laughs> well, I have to go finish the recipe. Oh, <laughs> you have a tough look.
Happened to you, little human? <laughs> Imagine not knowing how to make Castilian soup. Leprechaun. Holy Chapel for me, Sacrosanct. Lil enemies, get out. Never return here again. But you. How do you know that? Ah! No! Ah! Now that we're starting to like you. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Take that, Lil enemies. Hey, it looks like they've left their little hats behind. Which means I have the first item from the Legends of Castile. As soon as I get out of here, I'll take it to Mother Superior.
Long enough to cook Castilian soup later? Now I have everything I need. Better run and find the owner of the house so I can give it to him. So I can leave here as soon as possible and continue on my way. Here I go. Finally, I can fulfill my promise to the owner and continue on my way.
Thank you.